guys, if you've been following my channel, you probably remember my garden pizza oven project, which I've built, I believe something like two years ago. But ever since then, I've been trying to finish it. And I was wondering how to give it a nice top cover. And the best idea is to use tiles. But the problem is how do you tile a sphere? I was thinking about maybe using large tiles, breaking them into small pieces and making this nice mosaic. But then the problem is with those sharp edges, you would have to grind each piece to have it nicely rounded so you don't cut yourself. Then there are those small square tiles used for pools, although they also look so-so. And when you put squares on a sphere, when you go around, let me show you this on the grapefruit. When the top edges meet, the bottom flares out. So it also looks so-so. And I thought it would be really nice to have those hex tiles. But the problem with hex tiles is they're expensive as hell. I do have a sheet like this, which I bought for a trial. This is natural stone, nice hex pattern or honeycomb pattern, as some say. But as you can imagine, expensive as hell. Regular price, 83 poly zloty. So that's 20 bucks. 20 bucks, not per square meter, per one single sheet like this. They are on sale right now for 49.98, just a bit cheaper, but that's according to the label. Fortunately, I stuck this under the price reader and it turned out they're about the same price as the cheap pool tiles and this is real marble. So, so I bought everything that was on the sales rack, total of 19 sheets, but besides price, there's another fundamental problem, geometry. Have you ever seen a soccer ball? How do you cover a sphere with hex tiles? If we take six hex tiles, so you also have a hex in the center, and you place them in a sphere, they flare out, looks ugly. That's why soccer balls have five hex tiles and then a pentagon in the center. But where are we gonna get pentagon tiles? It turns out we all have this problem, but let me just get a demonstration gym ball here. The same gymnastics ball I used for making my pizza oven. If you haven't seen the video, I greatly recommend that. It's a really fun project where you use this as the base, cover it with a mix of cement with vermiculite or the keramcite, you know, that porous material that has good insulation quality qualities. And you end up with a nice dome. You just take the ball out and you've got a ready pizza oven. Well, let's see how these tiles fit to the surface of this ball. And you can see we have a problem. When you press down here, this flares up. No way this wants to fit to the curvature of a ball. So, did I make a bad purchase? Not necessarily. Problem is, you've got this netting underneath it's fiberglass and it's not giving anyway. So if you cut that sheet into nice flowers like this, it's more manageable. Oh, maybe start on top here. I guess you won't be able to see it now. Well, I'll take the camera in a minute and show you this from up top. And with small pieces like that, it's more workable and we'll be able to compensate on the joints between all these small pieces and hopefully arrange and cover the whole ball with these tiles and it should look amazing. Maybe I won't try placing all of these. 
since this is just dry placement without any cement like we will be doing and the pizza oven I don't want these to fall down and, and crack up just as a proof of concept showing you that it is in fact possible to cover a ball with small hex tunnels. Uh, maybe one more here and another one here. I can grab the camera. What do you think? I think it's gonna look great. So that's it for today. Be sure to like, share, subscribe and be sure to check out the movie where I'll be actually gluing this to the surface of my pizza oven. And one more thing, how to cut out this flower shape from the sheets we're having. We flip them over. And use some sharp knife which I unfortunately didn't have handy so I had this induction oven scraper which has a razor here And here we have another flower shape. And another one, and another one. So there's gonna be quite a bunch of work to cut all these out from the 19 sheets we have. Although definitely worth it, this will be much more manageable when tiling. Of course, this is, I guess, hot melt glow. We could heat it up and remove this uh, fiberglass reinforcement, but then having just single pieces like this and trying to tie over a whole large sphere. This is not even hundreds, there will be thousands of tiles, totally not manageable. So make shapes like these and this should work perfectly.